Hey, internet. I'm eating McDonald's apple slices. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I talk about whatever I want. Only subscribe if you vibe, please. This is not one of those YouTube channels where we just want anybody and everybody here. I literally only care if you vibe. If you get it, you get it. Okay, we're going to talk about Colleen. We're going to talk about this Miranda Sings. Let me know if y'all like the sound of chewing. I really like it. Some people hate it. But I just want to chill. I don't edit my videos. I have been obsessing over people's reactions to this video. Which means it's my turn. I used to be a fan. I used to be a fan. I was a casual fan. And I just viewed myself as a... Like a supportive person. I first found out about Miranda Sings when I was in singing class. I was assigned this opera song. It's not Ave Maria, but it's... um. I don't remember the name of it. It's a very popular song given to students, beginner singing students. Oh my gosh, it's hot. And I wanted to see how other people sing the song and Miranda Sings came up and it was really funny. I sent it to my professor. She laughed. She made the whole class watch it. And she laughed. And I just love it. I love cringe. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really into cringe. And um, I was really into this one song, this one Miranda sings. Hold on. I was really into this, this one, in particular. Now what plants? While the grass is really green. Now, when, when, when? There must be something in the water. Sipping gin and juice. Underneath the palm trees. Okay, that's enough. I'm sorry. Um, I find that humorous, especially back in what year was this posted? Okay, 13 years ago. It was hilarious to me. I thought it was just so funny. And um, I thought it was funny that she was, you know, playing this homeschooled fundamentalist Christian purity culture character. I thought it was funny. Um, then a few years pass, I just kind of fall off and, um, somebody mentions Miranda Sings again in some other YouTube video and I see that she has 10 million subscribers and I go check her out. Like, what's she up to? And I see that in her background of her videos, she has all these, uh, drawings from kids. Like this one is a little bit better. The drawings are better, but back then a few years ago, all of the drawings looked like they were drawn by small children. Like, they look like, um, you see this one in the lower right-hand corner? That's obviously made by a little kid. It all looked like that. And and I, in the comment section, you know, one of her tag catchphrases is, it's porn, it's porn. You know, just making fun of the purity culture. Like, oh, you're showing your elbow, you're showing your shoulders. Oh, no. Um So that was, like, her catchphrase. I found that funny, too. But what I didn't find funny is... All of the comments were in all caps yelling, it's pern, it's pern. And it just felt weird because I'm like, I didn't know until I saw all those drawings on the wall by kids. I didn't realize kids were in the fan base. So if all the comments are screaming, it's pern, that means there are kids screaming, it's pern. And that would make me feel uncomfortable in real life. So it makes me feel uncomfortable in the YouTube comment section as well. And, you know, I was just thinking, like, she knows this. Like, I'm a random person just hopping on here, checking out the video, and I'm seeing this. So she absolutely sees it, and she maybe she even encourages it because she's putting these kids' drawings on her wall, and this is weird. This is really weird. And, you know, it's a time, it was a time where people don't care. I mean, people still don't care. They don't. 
They don't care. The only reason they're caring now is because it is popular to care now. There are so many people who were try so many adults. This is what I find really stupid. There were so many adults who've been trashing Adam McIntyre for three years. And I would never understand it. I just feel like that is a child. That is a kid. He's not even 18 yet. And you only know about him because Colleen Ballinger had an inappropriate relationship with him. At that time, pe people are claiming, oh, we didn't have the receipts. Yes, you did. You had enough receipts to know that he was working for Colleen for free. He was not getting paid. And she had an inappropriate relationship with him. That she did not stop and she could not take accountability for it. And that's all you needed to know. I do not care if you believe he, the boy lied about that he didn't want the lingerie. I don't care if you think he's lying for clout. It literally doesn't matter. Colleen is the superstar adult. Oh, what do you and what do you look like being thirty something years old? Not even Colleen. What do you commentary channel look like being late twenties in your thirties? Whatever, however old you are, ragging on a a uh, minor kid because of a relationship the that a weird adult started with him. That, like, and now they're all apologizing to him, like, oh, sorry, we didn't believe you. No, no, y'all don't. What you need to apologize for is not caring. What y'all need to stop doing is giving the Black Lives Matter thing all over again, where people will, you know, black out their profile picture, they'll put BLM in, in their profile. It's like, you don't actually give a damn. And that's just one of my pet peeves in life. I will always call it out when I see it. I know, like, people have gotten mad at me. I called out Mysterious T for it, and people got mad at me. I called out Dustin Daly for it. People got mad at me. People always get mad at me. And as long as people are still getting mad at me for calling out this fake outreach, fake concern, that's how I know that the internet is fake AF. However, it serves a purpose because I did not mean for my little intro to be already seven minutes. Let's get into this. It serves a purpose because this did need to be brought to light. I'm very happy that people are now taking it seriously. Um, even if it is on the backs of people who just capitalize on fake outrage, you will you came in handy this time because now people are fully aware of Colleen's behavior. And um, we have been waiting to see her response to it. And this is the worst possible response that she could have done. This is top tier cringe. Now, when it comes to something cringy that occupies my mind, I have to analyze it I need to understand why it makes me uncomfortable that's what I want to do with you here so if you see me pausing very frequently through this video I am not trying to be nitpicky I I am pausing at the parts that made me uncomfortable so we can digest it together please let me know in the comments if you like the sound of my munching apples because I don't know whether to do it or not to, or to step back. I don't know. I'm already uncomfortable. Because I'm thinking, why did you edit it like this? Why didn't you cut out that beginning part? You want us to see... How solemn and sad that you are. She viewed this as an artistic piece. She viewed it as like a high school senior project. She wanted to give a certain aesthetic, which makes me uncomfortable because this is not this is not the time to give aesthetic. This is not the this is this is not a parody. This is um real Colleen is affecting your career I do not like this pregnant pause I do not like the breath that she just took I do not like it it feels performative it feels like you are trying to really make us feel like this is so heavy for you you really want us to just empathize with you and it feels rehearsed 
Like, it feels like this is not real. It feels like this is a play. This is a skit. And that's, that's making me uncomfortable. Her eyes make me feel very unsettled. I don't know why. Please leave a comment. Let me know why her eyes are making me feel weird. Hey, it's been a while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. That made me mad. What are people saying that's not true? Because we're looking at screenshots from multiple people. So we know it's not just an edited screenshot. So what, what are people saying that's not true, huh? It doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. That made me mad. First of all, it made me cringe very hard that she began singing she began singing to you. She began singing. And also, you are downplaying these accusations. You are trying to make it sound like this is just fun and games. Her smile is making me very uncomfortable. She's she's looking so mad. She's looking so mad. This is making me very uncomfortable. No, that made me more mad. She's emphasizing it with that, right? She emphasized it. It made me mad. You guys having fun? She's really, she's really, she's making it very clear that she thinks this is not serious and she thinks we're not serious. So after this, after this point, at this point, I'm just totally, I'm totally accepting that she is in delusion land, that she is the Lulu. All aboard. I'm like, what are you, what is this? What are you about to say? What is that? The toxic gossip train. The toxic gossip train. So you are really trivializing this. You're calling it gossip. You know, you could say it's gossip. But we're all just talking, giving us speculations and stuff. But this is not the time to address that. Can you first address what you actually did? Dragging down the tracks of misinformation, the toxic gossip train. So now I'm like, this is lagging again. Let me see if I can fix it. So now I'm like, um, misinformation. And I'm just racking my brain. Like, what is she referring to as misinformation? The screenshots were not taken out of context. What is she referring to? You got one way ticket to manipulation station. And I'm just wondering who is ma who is manipulating? Is she gonna tell us who's doing manipulation? Is screenshots manipulation? Toxic gossip train. Tie me to the tracks and harass me for my past. So I'm sure she is getting a lot of harassment, and I I can't tell if. She's referring to actual harassment or she's referring to like people like us who are commentating on the situation. I don't know what she's referring to and she doesn't make it clear, which to me tells me that she's talking about any of it, all of it. The fact that any of us have a problem with it. And um, I feel like that's very insulting. That's insulting to your ex-fans who are trying to get closure. These rumors look like facts if you don't- That made me mad, that made me mad. What rumors? Screenshots are not rumors. 
What rumor are you? What part is a rumor? Mind the gaps. What gap? Well, what is the gap? So I'm like, you know, let me give her a chance because maybe she's going to show us what gap that she's talking about. Don't survive in the crash, but hey. Why are you talking about surviving in crash? You know what? It's not actually about you. You, we don't care if you're surviving in crash or not because you have these ex fans who are young who did not survive the crash, and you actually threw them under the bus. So we're not concerned about you surviving no crash because we have seen you throw somebody in the crash already. And can you address that one first? I'm like, okay, this girl is is so not serious. Like, this girl deserves a slap. I'm sorry, she deserves a slap. If I was there, if I was the Adam McIntyre boy, if I was these other kids and I was in that room, hey, y'all have to hold me back. I'm going to give you a slap. I'm going to give you that slap that you said we're having fun. What about this is fun? Oh, my God. Uh, the cringe now you're talking the singing to talking mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. this sounds like you're doing a barney show barney you know i don't know it's not like a kid's show you know it's very ironic this song is written in the key of a minor And it sounds like Steven Universe. If you know what Steven Universe is, you know what I'm talking about. It sounds like a really badly written Steven Universe inspired song. It's just the irony. It's just the irony. You're making a song that sounds like it's for kids in the key of A minor. Considering its accusations. And then you know what? A part of me was like... She did it on purpose? Did she make it like that on purpose? Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. I wouldn't put it past her. I really wouldn't. I would not put it past her. Oh my God, I would not put it past her. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to- Who is your team? Can somebody who has worked with Colleen in the last six months tell me who is the team? Is it that Cody boy? Is the team just that Cody boy? <laughs> or she actually have a team? If she, I don't believe she have a team because if she had a team, mm-mm. This would not be released. If she had a team, mm -mm. she doesn't have a team. If she had a team, so many of the issues people are finding with her now wouldn't have even existed. She don't have a team. Mm -mm. To not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing. He didn't say I couldn't sing. How stupid. And now I'm also thinking, did you do that on purpose? Miranda sings. If you don't know what I was referencing, I was referencing the scene from a kid's show called Victorious. And Miranda sings was a guest star on that show. So do you go, do you see what I'm saying? There's so many little things I'm like, did you do it on purpose? I just want somebody to come and tell me that she did she do those on purpose? Cause that will really give more context. What I want to say. So I am. And um, today I only want to talk about the facts. So I hope that you'll be willing to listen. I said, you know what? I'll listen. Well, I want to see the facts because I've already seen facts 
So if you have more, there's no such thing as too many facts. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. That made me mad. What do you mean, like we're trying to suggest? Can you look with your eyes? What do you mean, like we're trying to suggest? Open your eyeballs. See that you are asking them, do you like the doggy style? I'm sorry, he didn't say it like that. She was asking them, what's your favorite position? I'm sorry. How is that not creepy? How is that not creepy? What do you mean we're trying to suggest? It is creepy. How is it not creepy? What? You know, that's what you need to, she, she needs to send me her stuff before she posts it. Because I would, I would tear it up like an English teacher in red ink. Like, what are you referring to? What do you mean by not creepy? Like, literally, how, how is it not creepy? It is creepy. It was more of a loser kind of way. Both can be true at the same time. It can be creepy and a loser way. I was just trying to be besties with everybody. I can tell. You know, I don't know. I would not accuse her of trying to touch these minors. But it is an inappropriate relationship, which we are calling grooming because that relationship allowed Colleen to use the kids for her benefit. Is it appropriate? Plain and simple. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there keeps coming up to you and going like, "Hey, girl, what's the tea?" And you're like, um, and if that weird aunt was also asking, "What's your favorite position?" I'm telling my parents. And if I don't tell my parents, when I get older, I'm looking back on it like, what the hell was that? Yeah, that's creepy. That's creepy, Colleen. And you know what's funny? Her Miranda Sings character, oh, I forgot to mention, I did watch Haters Back Off when it came out on Netflix. And I, some of it made me uncomfortable. Like all of the uncle stuff, if you know, you know. All of the uncle stuff made me uncomfortable. That kind of stuff just makes me uncomfortable. Okay. I am blessed um, to be a, a young woman who never had to deal with something like that in real life. I'm blessed. But I know many, many girls are not as blessed even Colleen it may have actually happened to Colleen um it happens to boys too um it, it just makes me uncomfortable I don't like it but putting that aside I was actually impressed with the Netflix show I thought there was potential there I thought the character had a lot of potential to like really flesh out something and with enough backing we can get better writers and just actually you know potentially have a really good season three um but it didn't get that far it didn't get that far and this was also you know this was when i didn't realize that the audience were a lot of little kids so i did not know these parents were leaving all these <laughs> reviews you know, um, what, am, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that given how much she jokes about the weird uncle, um, it's, it, I don't know, it makes me uncomfortable that she's referring to being the weird aunt. And, it, you know, how does she not see that kind of sideline there? Um, that was me in group chats with my fans. It was weird. And creepy, like, and creepy. Weird and creepy. 
Colleen, you cannot tell me that if your children was in a group chat with somebody like that, you wouldn't be creeped out. You would be creeped out. You would be creeped out. It's like, like, stop. An adult asks your kids that kind of question. It doesn't matter if they're just trying to be hip and cool with the kids. If you saw that, you would be creeped out. If my, if I saw that on my niece's phone, I would instantly block that. I wouldn't even tell. I would just like, let me see your phone real quick. And I'm blocking that person, taking screenshots and, and potentially even filing a police report. Even though I know police aren't going to do anything, at least there's something on file. Like, I don't play, like, that kind of stuff. No, I don't play with that. Like, to catch a predator. For real, like, the, that online, um, I'm 36. Is that okay? Oh, I know you're only 15. I'm I'm 38 years old. I hope that's okay with you. Are you shy? Like, that kind of stuff. I don't, mm -mm. I don't play with that. Like I really is so prevalent is so prevalent. And you know, this, you are an internet personality with children. You know, this, it is so prevalent and scary and disgusting. There are kids who get kidnapped and lost and, and because they're having relationships like this that are inappropriate. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. Stop. This is something I realized about Trisha Paytas, because I used to ask myself, why does Trisha Paytas bring all of her problems to the internet and think that the internet is going to actually help her like they give a damn? Like, she'll bring, she'll ask, like, a, a question from her personal life, and then people will just drag her, roast her, and she'll start crying. And I'm like, why did you think the internet cares about you? We are not your friends. We are all complete strangers. You know, I get it. Look, I have a YouTube channel. I used to post lots of vlogs and personal stuff. And I will, I will continue to post vlogs and personal stuff. But make no mistake, I'm not mistaking, um, I'm not mistaking online people for close friends. Right. And I, you know, someone has shown me over the past year how you can really develop close friendships online. People do. I mean, I always had like good friendships like, oh, you're my Facebook friend. You know, I've had stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I, I invited the Facebook friends to my wedding. OK, like I get that. But I'm also not going to tell that, I'm not going to, well, one, I'm not going to tell an audience, like, too much. You don't know who all is in that audience. You really don't. You know, you might be friends with a person one-on-one, -on -one, but you're not friends with an entire audience. Or you might have a certain affection for maybe a particular subscriber or fan you might have an affection for them you care about them you like chatting with them you hope for the best for them or maybe you even do actually become real friends like you're actually sharing deeper things but you don't do that with a whole audience and you don't do that when somebody is a minor that's weird why would you do that if somebody subscribed to my channel and they're trying to be my friend like i have there's this one young person, they were really trying to add me on social medias and stuff, and I saw that they were young. And, you know, you just be friendly and keep it moving. You don't need to try to become friends with children. That's weird. That's really weird. And what's weird is you were 33 years old during all of this. So how, like, what is it? Were you, are you, is it arrested development? Like, are you emotionally stunted? Like, how, how did it, how did that make sense to you? That, 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 I don't know. I've just never met anyone over 25 that, that made sense to them other than PDF files. But yeah, I don't know what that means. You know, uh, I've seen maybe somebody like, maybe they're in their 30, they're in their 40s and they're good friends with somebody who's like 22. Right. Like I've seen that. And even that's kind of that's kind of like, how did that happen? That's weird. You know, like strictly platonic. I've seen that. But why would you why would you go teenage? Why would you? Oh, that's weird, Colleen. 
this, but in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. And there were times in the DMs when I would... Yeah, we, we know that you didn't understand you should have boundaries. We can tell. Overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. What was the accountability? Let me Google real quick. What, what does accountability mean? People throw that word around a lot these days. The fact or condition of being accountable, responsible. Let's see. Can we get more context? Look at how much. Look at. Okay. Can we get a little bit more context? Let's see this. The acceptance of responsibility for honest and ethical contact, conduct towards others. an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's actions. So how do you do that? How did you do that? How did you account for your actions? Because what you're saying is you just stopped doing it, but that's not the same thing as accounting for your actions. It's not the same thing as accepting responsibility. It, it's not. I want to know what she's actually thinking. Like, why don't, why do YouTubers make the same mistake every time? Like, why do they always post a BS that doesn't make sense? Like, how did they not foresee that it's not going to make sense? Like, you're not special. It didn't make sense when, when Shane Dawson did it, when Jeffree Star did it. Like, you're not special. Like, you're not going to be the one to, to make the nonsensical make sense. Why did they do that? That's not very interesting, is it? No, it actually is really interesting. We actually would love to know, how did you take accountability? Because simply stopping the behavior is not enough. You have to take the accountability. You have to accept it. You have to accept that you are responsible for your action. So how did you show that? And if you're trying to say by just stopping doing it, that's not enough because the people that you did it to, they didn't get any kind of reconciliation or knowledge of your acceptance of your responsibility. So let's go on the toxic gossip train. The locomotive's fueled with hateful accusations. Accusations that are backed up by screenshots, though. <sighs> you need to be specific. What accusation exactly? Because a lot of them are backed by something. The toxic gossip train steamroll over someone's reputation. Nobody asked you to ask children if they're virgins. You did this to yourself. Now, I... Th mm. Like, this is very difficult because in, on one hand, I can see where things are going too far. But on the other hand, I'm seeing where things are exactly as far as they need to go. And she's not properly addressing which one she's talking about. It's, it's pretty much assumed that she's just referring to all of it, which most of it is warranted. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board, but close your eyes. Otherwise, you'll realize that the train is made of lies, and that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die. But hey, we don't want you to die. I'm sure she's getting those threats, though. I mean, you, you can't stop it. It's unfortunate. But like all of us making commentary, we don't want that. I hate that. It's just, she's really just trying to make herself like a martyr, like all of this at my expense, just for y'all to have fun. She's really trivializing the situation. 
in all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. So when are you going to apologize for the past mistakes and then do that and then change me? But like, she's acting like, like you ever accidentally bump into someone? You say, oh, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Right. You made a mistake. You apologize for your mistake. Like, why can't, why can't you do that? Why is it, why, why can't you do that? This is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. No, you don't, no, you didn't because your apology video three years ago um, was filled with lies and not being accountable. And now here you're doing it again, not being accountable. So you don't. It's something that I will continue to try to do. What? No, you, no, you don't. You are right now not doing it. Oh, you don't care? Oh. No, we, we actually care a lot. It's you who doesn't care. I thought you wanted me to take accountability. Then take it. But that's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. It, 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 well, for some people it's not, but it, it's effective in that it pulls you, it forces you to look at the situation and reassess what did you do so that you can take accountability. And unfortunately, you, you decided to double down-ish or something weird. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise. Some people are trying to ruin her life. They are. Um, but um, she has lost partnerships and stuff like that. Um, which is par for the course when people en masse find out that you're that you're doing really questionable stuff. Um, and you know, they do this like R. Kelly did this, Bill Cosby did like they do that when somebody does something wrong, like really wrong, and so it, it is ruining their career and they want sympathy. You, you cannot get sympathy. Not at this moment. You cannot because what you did is so wrong that you can't even have a hope of getting sympathy until you address how and why you were wrong and how you will change. While you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. I really hate that part. And monetize that. It makes me feel gross. That's the part that really sounds like Steven Universe. It sounds like if the character Pearl was singing this song. And I don't know. I think maybe that's what's making it look so icky for me. I really don't like that line. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yet. And it really, it really like drives home that she wrote this. She sat down. She wrote this. Like she wrote that. She practiced it. Ew. Yeah. Um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. Yeah, but I, I will say, I think people, um, some might be dramatizing what happened um, because it's just so easy. I mean, what do you expect? You're asking kids about uh, to, send, to send you nudies. Yeah. You had a dude post himself in the bathtub with his uh, bubbles floating. Like, you did so much questionable stuff that how, how would it not be dramatized? I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> what? She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I hate that. A rat. Because it sounds like Miranda sings. Oh, yeah, rats. I don't like it, and I also don't like that you can tell she really practiced that part. She practiced that part really, really good, really a lot. <laughs> that made me cringe. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, <laughs> I don't. I don't like the little <coughs> the little um fake spontaneity fake candidness, fake conversational. I don't like it. It's like you sat down, you wrote that. It just makes me very cringe feeling. I didn't realize that all of you are perfect, so please criticize me. No, we're not perfect. We just, we didn't 
we didn't engage with minors in the way that you did. Yeah. I mean, sure, if somebody engaged with minors in the way that you did and they're trying to talk ish on you, we will come and drag them. But the rest of us, we didn't do that. You did that. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I don't like that for either. I don't like that for either. In my bony little back. I'm like, oh, it's like, if this was a cute little ditty or something, maybe I would like it. But because of what it is, it makes me like, oh, oh, it's too much. It's too much. It's too intentional. Like, you too intentionally wrote that. And you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have written any of this. Whenever, yeah, I think that's what it is. Whenever a part just seems so intentional, it makes me like, why? Some people are saying that she's mocking. I think maybe she had an ED or something, so she's mocking the people who make fun of her ED. That's what I heard. I don't know. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. She recognized that she was weird. She recognizes that this is shitty. So why are you doing that? I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. How are you not? Did you, tw you, you said those things. You did those things. Only you. Well, I think her brother did some weird stuff too. So not only her, but. Yeah, like who 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 else was in the wrong though? You 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 want to bring your brother in this video? So I'm like, oh he you know, we did it together. Or whoever Cody is or like what do you mean? What do you mean you're not one hundred percent in the wrong? Well, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. So the screenshots are made up? You see, this is so confusing and it makes me irritated like this is too confusing, and I know you're not going to properly answer any of these questions. Hey. I don't like dramatic pause. I don't like that. It's so rehearsed. It's so painfully rehearsed. Everybody, I found someone new to harass. She did some things that I... It makes it like this is a skit. It makes it like she's performing this at open mic night. Mm. I don't like it. Do not like in her past, so everybody gather around, because we're about to attack... But not based on facts. Oh, no. So the screenshots are not facts? What are they? How How is a screenshot a rumor? I don't get that. Your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys. You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen. So shoot me down quick, click, click, and bam. But you did it. You shot yourself. Or rather, we should say you provided the ammunition. My reputation's deceived. Yeah, that's what happens when you're weird with minors. That's what happens. Oh, the lag is so bad. I'm sorry. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. Yeah, her. Uh, she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's. The show Haters Back Off is PG. And your book, you know, is sold to little kids. Oh, I saw the book. I saw Rachel Oates video on the book girl you're a hot mess with that Miranda sings I really enjoyed the character I did but at this point at, at the point that you were trying to market to kids you really messy always been that way and that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube kids app anyway um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to... Yeah, but you take it really far. Like, you, you're you really trying to be edgy with kids. Like, you're trying to be edgy with kid humor. That's You, you really push it. You really push it. Y'all go check out Rachel Oates' video on the book. She was pushing it. To decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. Yeah. The lag is really bad. Let me try to fix this. We're 44 minutes in. <sighs> okay, we're f oh we're halfway done. What if I increase the speed? Let's increase the speed. I used to message my fans. Uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a 
loser kind of way. Where I was just trying to be. That's where we were. Sad that no one is watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. No. Bad, amazing jokes and poor taste. Yes. I hate this. I hate when they ask themselves a question. Like, d did I make a mistake? Yes. Did I do X, Y, Z that's bad? Yes. I don't like that. Why don't I like that? I don't know. It makes it like, it feels like you're about to excuse it. That's what, it feels like you're about to excuse it. Why? Don't ask, did you do this? Yes. Just, just say that you did it and apologize for it. But when you ask it and answer it yourself, it sounds like you're about to give us an excuse. So I don't like that. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad? And why why can't you apologize for the mistakes to the appropriate people? What's wrong with that? That there are some fans I feel betrayed. Yes. Why don't you feel so? What? Well, you feel so bad that you didn't feel bad three years ago. Like, can, can you explain why you didn't feel bad for Adam three years ago? And what what changed? What changed that now you feel bad? Um. Can you explain why, like, you feel bad, but you are trivializing what they're talking about be with the song? Like, can you explain it? Because it doesn't make sense. I don't think you feel bad. It was my intention to manipulate? No. It doesn't matter if it was your intention. It's what you did. You, But you did it. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. No, it, it, it doesn't matter what your intention is. It's not because we decided what your intention is. It, it doesn't matter because regardless of what your intention was, you still did it. The actions occurred. Let me tell you, it's not very fun to have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter that these things aren't true. Yeah, I mean, it sucks like... People think you're a PDF file. They do. Um, I personally don't. But given what you said and what you did, I don't blame people for thinking that, that you are. <laughs> uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. But you did. And I don't like that she she pa and she pauses right here. She look in the camera because she's trying to dramatic dramatic guys. I don't know how to say the word. Please. Oh, please. Oh. English is not the first language. She's trying to dramatize this thing to make it sound like it's so absurd. Like this is so extreme. This is so extreme. Can you believe that? That's what she's trying to make us feel and it's not gonna work because we seen the screenshots we seen that you did you you did you did she 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 wants us to she wants us to bring it to our head like little baby kids getting picked up at the park and stuff like that what you did classifies as that. That's that's what ma that makes this part so cringy because you're pausing intentionally, looking at the camera like, isn't this ridiculous? When yet what you did is categorized as those things. So I just wanted to say that um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. Again, you were making light of this. You're talking about oh, you you made it a joke. You're making it a joke. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans and I'm But you did. You groomed them. Maybe you... Look, I can believe if she said, oh, I didn't know what I was doing is grooming. I didn't know that. A couple of people can buy it. You still need to apologize for it. You still did it. I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so, because five years ago I made a bark joke. Again, you make it so you don't feel bad about you don't feel bad about the fans who are disappointed because what she's referring to is that girl who's saying that she felt so uncomfortable with the fart joke and she was laying in a weird position with her skirt up and she's talking about how uncomfortable that made her feel and now you are just making light of that situation. You do not feel bad for your ex fans. You don't. 
And again, with the fake dramatic pause and looking in the camera, like we're so we're supposed to think this is just so ridiculous. Like, oh my gosh, can you believe all of this is because of a fart joke? No, it's not just because of a fart joke. And even the fart joke that you're referring to um, hurt one of your fans. Like, what is wrong with you? Why can't you at least be like, I'm so sorry that you felt that way. I don't want any of my fans to feel that way. So I'll make sure to keep that in mind next time. Like, it's really that simple. Like, I'm not saying that everybody's going to accept an apology or think that's good enough, but that's way 100% better than what you're doing now and making light of what she experienced. Because the, what the girl was saying, how she felt, it's not unreasonable. Like, it's not like it's not like you're dealing with fans who are Karens. These fans are not Karens. They're not making unreasonable demands. They are saying things that are reasonable. And your response is unreasonable. This pause is too much. Look at that. Foolish girl. The lag is much. The lag is too much right now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, y'all see my, 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 my thing. I'm trying to, huh? let's refresh. I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. I'm not a groomer. I'm just a loser. Supported me in any capacity. Yeah. Come on here. Even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me. Oof, the lag is too much. I don't know what to do. Do I need to restart my computer? Ugh, I don't know what to do. Do I need a refresh? I turned off so many things. I still felt it was important to come on here myself a little and take accountability what was the accountability D just saying oh i made a mistake saying oh yeah i was weird that's not accountability because you cannot say you're taking accountability and also dismiss be dismissive of the situation at the same time you just canceled any iota of accountability that you believe that you made you canceled it this thing is lagging so bad. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm getting sleepy. Shit. I have to watch the idol. It's so bad. Oh my gosh, no, this thing is... Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let me fix this. Yeah, I'm watching The Idol. I think tonight's the last episode, and I was going to post on my other channel, but I'm too tired. And I have too much wedding planning that I have to do. And luckily, tomorrow is low-key a holiday. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Think about work. Somebody put her apology video on, on, um, what's it called? Somebody put it on that Guitar Hero game. What? Oh my gosh, y'all, this is not going my way. Why is it not working? Oh, crap. Mm. Okay, let me try something. Okay, let's see if this works. Nope. I do not edit my stuff, y'all. So you're watching me troubleshoot before your very eyes. Huh. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. You see that in the upper left hand corner? Oh, people are funny with this. I'm sorry. This apology. She really made her situation worse. She really did. And I also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, you know, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. No, I don't want to thank you. I don't want to thank you. Oh, my face is hiding. I do not want to thank you. I don't. Where am I? Where's my face? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> how did this happen? Okay, how do I bring my face up? Oh. Yeah, I did support her at the time. And, you know, before all this, I was thinking, good for you. You have a Netflix show. Good for you. You're really making it. And um, I remember I was watching her on her little podcast with Trisha Paytas, and they were talking about their mental health issues. And I didn't realize that Colleen had whatever Trisha Paytas has. I think it's what she was saying. Um, and it's just ironic that, like, a week after I watched that podcast, we're seeing... Um, that she exhibits some of that behavior. What it's worth? Okay. Never had any bad intentions. It doesn't matter. So, yeah, it's not worth anything. It doesn't matter. And you're, this ukulele thing is considered a malicious intent. We don't care. This whole thing is not supposed to be about how you're feeling, that you're feeling like shit, before you even just address the people that you that you made feel like shit first. This pause thing, mm -mm, I don't like it. I do not like it because I'm like, I know you rehearsed this. I know you really rehearsed this, and now you're really going to sit here looking around like, like you're all pensive, deep in thought. You, this is you. You, you, are doing like a skit for the SNL. When this is a serious matter. You sing it again. Jogging down the tracks of misinformation, toxic gossip, This is an acting because you rehearsed all of this. This is an acting and you wouldn't do this. Like you, you would not do this if you knew the reception that you would get. You would do, you would only do this if you actually thought that this was effective. You would only be acting like this all sad and oh, I'm slowing my music down. Like this is some, a dang movie. It's not a movie. You would only be doing this if you really thought that this uh, song, that we would find it endearing and quirky and we sympathize with you. I'm sorry, girl. This is no longer 2009. Like this would have worked. I'm telling you, if this was 2009, this would have worked. It's not going to work in 2023. And this is very uncomfortable. Like the comment that said that this is painfully millennial like oh my god like the it's it really is blowing all of our minds no this one no 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 with the fake about to turn it off actually no oh no oh no when I saw this part the first time, I was beating my head like this. Oh no. <laughs> I feel like maybe I should. You guys know something. Um, oh it's like. God. Maybe you're confused about something. 
And she was like, mm, it seems like maybe you're confused about something. Mm. I'm like, oh, what? is she finally going to address something real? Then this is what she said. Look what she, look, look what she said. I don't know. I'm like, let me try to help. I'm like, oh, is she gonna talk about some something real? She about tell, she gonna talk about something for real? She gonna talk about some something. For... Sometimes people make a mistake, and it doesn't make them a horrible person. I said, oh, I know you, lying. <laughs> I know you lying right now. I was like, this girl is so for real. This girl is so for real right now. And I hate that. I hate the whoa. I, you wrote this song as well. You wrote this song as well. You're not freestyling. Oh my God. So now you're trying to tell us you're a good person. When this video was showing us the opposite. I'm like, this has to be a joke. She did not seriously think that this would fly. What? Crazy. I know. You seem crazy. <laughs> Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake. Oh, no. Oh, everything. No, I'm... I was like, mm -hmm. and twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it and stab it with knives oh my god i was like oh no 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 if this again if this was open mic at my college this is an art piece that she wrote trying to express her feelings you know that's what this sound like i'm like this is so mm, this is so mm. and ruin a life and That part, ruin a life. <gasps> oh no! I was like, oh no no no! You really bringing back the 2010, the the I'm quirky, I'm creative. The 2010. That is a very 2010 lyric. That's a very. Oh, I was like, oh no! I was like, oh. that 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 specific bar. I'm calling it bars. And ruin a life. <gasps> oh no! Oh. oh. <laughs> I can't, it's too much. Sometimes people can make a mistake. It doesn't mean you gotta send them hate. Oh no. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you can kindly let them know and help them to grow. But people did. So many people let you know. I'm sure people have also kindly let you know. I'm sure many people did not kindly do it. I'm sure you have friends and family who kindly did it and you're not growing. So what's the point of this song? Because it's not working. <laughs> oh, sometimes people make mistakes. And when they make mistakes, they say, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you and I won't do it again. Simply because they made a mistake. So they apologize for it. And that mistake doesn't make them a terrible human. Especially if they say I'm sorry. It just makes them a human. Oh, okay. So what do I know? Fuck me, right? This part is so painful and millennial. Trying to make it lighthearted, trying to make it like she really thought she ate. She did. Yo, the way she was doing all them dramatics, she really thought she ate it up. Because you're not going to say, I don't want to win it. That's me, right? You're not going to say that unless you really felt like your performance was that girl. And she really thought she was that girl. <laughs> and then I'm sure she, when she woke up and she saw that there's how many views? When she woke up and, oh, dang, there's almost 7 million views. When she woke up and she saw that there's 5 million views, how many, 6 million views? I bet she really thought, 
I'm that girl. I'm that girl. And she's not. This is really the worst. This is the worst. This is the worst. Oh, this is so fussy. Mm. Mm, this is so comfy. I'm really sleepy. But this is the worst. This is literally the worst apology I've ever seen. And I am very... I'm not one of those people. You know how YouTubers still make an apology and... Like, it's never good enough. I got my hair in my mouth. Like, the apology is never good enough. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of those people, like, there are apologies that I think are good enough. Like, I'm like, well, you address everything, you apologize for it, you apologize to the appropriate people. That's a good apology. And then I'll find, like, some commentary video that's like, no, that was terrible. That was, that was actually an awful apology. I'm not like that, yo. Like, I'm a very, like, reasonable person. And this was literally the worst response to drama I've ever seen it's really bad holy hell holy shit and it really makes me disappointed it makes me disappointed because now I know what she's like this is so bad like it's really bad and it's bad for her because now more stuff about her is coming out. Like, more stuff, like, stuff that's not any of our business or whatever is coming out. Stuff about her past relationships and things like that. Like, that kind of stuff that's not even related to this particular drama is coming up. Because you made this stupid video. Like, what are you thinking? What are you doing? What are you doing? I really want to know, like, just based on how she interacted with Adam back in the day, she seems like somebody who's incredibly sensitive. She's incredibly sensitive to how she's being received. So I can imagine she's just losing her mind right now. And I really wish I could see, like, what is she doing to cope? What is she actually saying? Like, what is she saying to the people in her life? What is she saying to her team? Like, I'm just so curious. I'm so curious. I'm a nosy girl. I'm nosy. I am very nosy. I really want to know. Um, so, all the things that she did as Colleen Ballinger, you know, I don't support it. But then I was, like, looking at the stuff people were criticizing about the character Miranda Sings. And I always thought, you know... She's just playing a character, some delusional girl who thinks she can sing and she can't. It's just funny and, you know, I'm down. Making fun of fundamental Christianity is my jam. I really much, I very much see Christianity in the United States of America as like a pyramid scheme, um, as a scam. And, um, yeah, like any any kind of humor that recognizes that is funny to me. Okay. Um I'm not I'm not trying to if you're a Christian, I'm not trying to rag on you. It's very specifically an evangelical prosperity mindset, purity culture, um United States of America type of Christianity that I'm more referring to, but you know, I just thought it was funny and people are saying, so people are saying that she actually made the character to make fun of some girls that she went to school with that they didn't sing well and they were posting on YouTube. Do you really think they're going to make it? And she's making fun of them. And people are like, you know, that's mean. You made a character to make fun of your classmates. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Colleen was the mean girl in school. Maybe she was the mean girl. Um, but also, I'm like, like that's kind of, it's kind, of, it's kind of funny. But also, maybe she was a mean girl. And then you see the old, the uh, interview with Shane Dawson confirming that she is indeed the mean girl. And it's like, oh, okay. Uh, she probably don't want to hang out with her. Uh -huh. Um, but I still would. <laughs> 
if I had known that when I discovered Miranda Sings, not going to lie, I would probably still be laughing. It's still funny to me. But now what people are saying is they're saying that the character is actually making fun of and, and that she said this. Now, I haven't seen that she said this, so I cannot confirm for myself. But they're saying that she has said it is making fun of like one of her cousins with a mental delay or autism or something like that. I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to equate autism with mental delay because um, they're not the same. And people actually don't know that. So um, pardon that equiv equivocacy, whatever. But, you know, something about her cousin that there's something wrong with her. There's something off about her. It, it, like something diagnosed. You know what I mean? Like, she's diagnosed with something. And I was like, oh, that really sucks. I would never say that. I'm sorry. I would never say that. If I'm having a silly character, and, and you know, I really just assumed that she was more make, making fun of herself. You know, I assumed that she grew up in that kind of fundamental Christian church and and that she had a big ego when she was a kid. I don't know. I really just thought, like, this character was inspired by her own childhood. I didn't know that she... Everything about this character is making fun of, like, actual specific people in her life. So, look, people find different things problematic. Like, you find something problematic enough that you stop enjoying it. And everybody's bars at a different level. Um... I had already stopped enjoying Miranda Sings a while ago. Um, when I realized that it's more catered to kids, I just kind of stopped. I don't, you know, I'm not comfortable with the kids yelling, that's pern, even though I, f I do find the joke funny. But it makes me uncomfortable that this character is targeting kids. I know she said it's PG-13, but you're putting little kid drawings on your wall shouting them out <sighs> I don't know it just and it just wasn't funny like she's not she wasn't doing the music videos anymore that era of YouTube where you make parody music videos is over um Shane Dawson did that Shane Dawson was making parody music videos I, during the whole Shane Dawson debacle people would bring it up like oh you're making fun of Nicki Minaj but did you need to do blackface you know, to make fun of Nicki Minaj, like, it's enough to put the big butt, like, <laughs> anyway, these people are something else, and another thing that I'm noticing about these people is, before I hop off and go to sleep and watch, uh, The Idol, so I can come back on tomorrow morning and make a video about it, if I have time, this wedding planning process is insane, I'm planning a very large wedding, I didn't mean for it to be that large, I mean, what I originally planned was already going to be large. It was already going to be what Americans consider large. And um, due to my side of the family, um, it is going to be crazy. And I'm just doing a lot of cultural stuff. It's ex it is exhausting. It really is exa This whole wedding... Pro I'm changing the topic real quick. This whole wedding process has been exhausting. Planning a Nigerian-American Catholic wedding is... Exhausting. And I don't wish it on any bride. I don't. And if I could give that bride one piece of advice... It would be to assess your parents' personality. Do you have parents that are cool with you making decisions? Or do you have parents who they feel like they need to make decisions? And if they feel like they need to make decisions, they need to hire their own wedding planner. I'm so serious. You have your wedding planner. Your parents have their own. To, to plan all the Nigerian traditional stuff and consider the cultural stuff and to help your parents to be realistic, you need to hire your parents their own planner and they need to pay for it. And then your two planners can work together. Yeah, that would be the best way. Anyway, 
I digress. Um, what I noticed is with Shane Dawson and um, Colleen Ballinger, even Jeffrey Star, many others, they joke a lot about PDF files. They joke a lot about it. They joke so much about it that they borderline the behaviors. And I'm really curious as to why is that? Were they all ab abused as children? You know, it really makes me wonder, like, did this happen to you? Did this happen in your family? And, you know, the, you siblings, like, you know how you turn your trauma into jokes? Like, is that what this is? And then you come to L.A. and you find out that Hey, that happened to you too, and you start trauma bonding, and you think it's normal, and and you think it's funny, and you try to bring the jokes to the internet, and people let it slide, so you keep bringing the jokes to the internet, and you think it's normal, you think like the rest of the world is making those same kind of jokes, and don't get me wrong, there are there are people who make those same kind of jokes, but like I don't think the majority of us do that. I certainly don't. I never have. I don't care if it's twenty two thousand eight. I was. I was not making PDF file jokes. And I know at that time, um, there was this internet meme called the, let's see if it's still up. Okay, this was a meme, right? Um, so like internet, it was normal and like internet humor to kind of make fun of it um but even the way most people would use this character they would kind of like if something seemed borderline they would put despair there like kind of like huh, we're making a joke but also you posted something weird my guy okay it was kind of like that um but obviously there, there's people who they they literally making fun of child abuse um, you know, I don't know if, if I had the time and the mental wherewithal, I would do a deep dive into the internet's fascination with PDF file jokes. There is a, there is a fascination with joking about PDF files online. If you haven't noticed it, just start just start paying attention you will see it give it two weeks you'll see what i'm talking about there's a even in 2023 even now we're in a day and age where people are calling it out more you'll know you'll still notice it it's not it's not as prevalent as 2000s but i mean you cannot escape it in the 2000s you really couldn't it was everywhere some people made actual funny jokes and some people made very uncomfortable jokes. Like, are you joking or do you really feel this way and you're just saying it as a joke because it'll be accepted as a joke? It's weird times, weird times all around. Um, yeah, I would do a deep dive into this and I would put Colleen and Shane Dawson as like, research subjects but anyway thanks for watching that cringe with me now that i've expressed it in an hour and a half video i think i can rest yeah now that i've fully expressed and processed and i can't wait to see y'all's comments and what y'all think let me know if this does this sound like asmr does this sound good does this sound better does this sound better without the now you can hear me breathing. Does it sound better like this? That hurt my ear. I'm sorry. Or does it sound better like this? I've always wanted a Yeti. This is old. I can tell it's old because it uses a really old type of USB. But I love it. It's so cute and white and fuzzy and I love it so much. Let me get let me get this off my screen. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's off my screen. Okay. Thanks for watching, y'all. Um after this wedding, now I'm giving like a life update. After this wedding, 
Um, I hope to regain myself. I hope to go back to, you know, what I planned for myself. I, I have a very full recreational life. I'm the kind of person that I like to follow my passions and just do, just do things that I really enjoy. I really fully like put myself into my hobbies. Um, especially before we have kids if that's if we even have kids um but yeah that was something that was really important to me and wedding planning really took over my life it still has my life taken over and I have a lot to catch up on but afterwards um I hope I can put more time into like all of my passion projects and share them on here with you but worst case scenario I am going to talk about the stuff that's just on my mind too much, okay? Before this colander thing, I was really obsessing about the submersible, but I didn't make a video because there's nothing I could add to it. Like, everything has been said. Everything there is to say has been said. So I didn't make a video, but definitely, I feel like we are all cringing on this video together. And my hope for Colleen is that she just realizes that this was not it. I hope she takes another second to just sit and think. And, you know, she might decide that she, no, I'm not apologizing for a day. Oh, look at the, look at the dislikes. Oh my gosh, look at the dislikes. I forgot I have that Chrome extension that you can see the dislikes. The dislike is 10 to 1. Good Lord, it's silver 10 to 1 ratio. Dang. How many comments? Oh, the comment thing. But, um, I mean, if she is okay with being isolated, because if she still stands by this idea that she made a mistake, and doesn't need to give any kind of apology or reconciliation for it or like actually accepting what she did. You know, she's claiming she took accountability, but she's not. She's calling screenshots lies. So she hasn't taken accountability. So if she wants to die on this hill of not actually taking accountability, then so be it. But she has been given ample perspective um, from people who are not calling her names, people who are not being malicious, all of these people posting on YouTube, I've, I'm sure some of them are very stupid, but like there's a lot of high quality channels that are actually giving like real feedback, you know, and they're not just like, <laughs> let's make fun of her, <laughs> you know, they're actually giving their actual reaction, their actual feedback without with no intention of really trying to beat her down but like really just looking at this at face value and if she still doesn't get it then she can just go ahead and let us know that she's gonna this is the hill that she want to die on go ahead and do it go ahead and do it like you will still make money like you she still has fans she she'll still make her money you know gabby hannah she still have people who love her I mean, you don't see her as often, but she's still, she's still making money. You know, you just need, you, she'll just have to accept. And I know it will be hard for her because it's not in her nature. She will accept that uh, people are not okay with her behavior. They're not okay with how she makes moves. They're not okay with it and they don't want to support it. And she's going to have to be okay with that. But I know right now she's crying. I know she's crying right now and you just going to have to do that. You really, you just have to do that. Thank you for watching. I'm going to watch The Idol now. And I'll post a video on my other channel, UD Reviews, if you want to see my season analysis of the horrible TV show, The Idol, that's on Max, formerly known as HBO Max. All right, thank you. Good night. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.